Hey there, it's time for a quick take on Steampunk Done Right, HBO's The Nevers, an epic adventure of alternative Victorian history and, thanks to a rather jarring episode 6, far future space opera. The Nevers embrace their steampunk foundation with automatons, gadgets, and even an electric car ejecting from the back of a carriage. All that in the show's first 10 minutes. From the bottom of my clockwork heart. This cast of actors, both new and experienced, have come together for a story that appears to be a steampunk romp with the supernatural thrown in for good measure. Amelia True and her partner in charity, Penance Adair, are in charge of a special home for the touched. The touched are a select few in British society, women, people of color, and those who are powerless or voiceless in society that have shown incredible abilities. For Penance, it is an understanding of electricity and a gift of science. For Dr. Horatio Cousins, it's a healing touch. And for our hero, True, she's able to catch flashes of the future. With the arrival of these gifts to the lower classes, those in power are genuinely concerned. Throughout the pilot episode, there is a lighthearted, swashbuckling feel to it with just a hint of dark mystery. But without question, it's steampunk. Right up to the ending. Yeah, not only is the Nevers really leaning hard into their steampunk, they're also leaning hard into their science fiction. It's been five stellar episodes. All the questions, the surprises, the twists all have an organic feel to them. Nothing feels forced or shoehorned into the plot. But here was my concern. Sticking the landing. After getting burned by Penny Dreadful and being constantly disappointed in steampunk properties that either never saw the light of day or were horrible in their execution, I was worried that the Nevers would miss their mark on the final episode, which dropped Sunday, May 16th. It opens with this. Alright, strap in, Sparky. We're going for a ride. The season finale goes into True's backstory, and what should not have worked winds up explaining True's weird behavior, giving this particular moment a deeper understanding. True, I can't imagine how many funerals you've been to. But... None. We don't do that when I'm from. We don't have enough time and we don't have enough ground. You know better than anyone what pain does when you don't make time for it. All time does is run out. I was left here completely alone, with nothing but a mission I was never actually given. No orders, no objectives. They left me here and they fucked right off. Maybe they died, who cares? I'm here, where a woman can be killed just for having a voice, which will be the world's fucking epitaph if I can't do something other than make it worse. Now, before I get thrown to the wolves for this, let's address the 800 pound asshole in the room. Joss Whedon was working on The Nevers around the time Ray Fisher and Charisma Carpenter came out with stories of their own on how Whedon empowered them on past projects. There has been and still is a lot of pushback against The Nevers on account of Whedon's involvement and investment in the project. And while yes, he is the creator and one of the executive producers, not all episodes were written or directed by Whedon. In fact, the boldest of the episodes the most recent episode six, was written by James Espenson and directed by Zetna Fuentes. And if you're curious, yes, I'm planning to do a deep dive of my own into Whedon and other artistes of his ilk and the complications around the works they create. Now, while the pandemic did pause production on The Nevers, HBO removed Whedon from the project back in November, having critics wonder, could the show stand all on its own? For myself, after an incredible season finale, the Nevers continues forward as it started, with grace, confidence, and style. I'm all in and can't wait to see what their next batch of episodes will be offering. And there you go. A quick take on the Nevers, now on HBO Max and well worth your time. And speaking of being worth your time, if you don't want to miss any of my other deep dives or quick takes on pop culture, go on and hit that subscribe button. Make sure your notifications are enabled and you can catch me next time. Until then, thanks for watching, Governor.
Enjoy the ride. Thank you.